the greatest tennis player of all time. Uh, why don't you open the discussion and then we can, we can, I can give you my take and then we can discuss. Okay. Um, for me, for me, it's it's tough to say, but. I do think Federer, Federer probably is the um, the greatest of all time. I think he's got the Grand Slam record. Um, I know it's hard to say Federer on clay greatest of all time because obviously Rafa, um, mm-hmm. Rafa is the best on clay of all time. It's hard to say who's the greatest of all time when there's when there's many different surfaces in tennis. So yeah, exactly. I, as a whole, I would say Federer altogether. He's got the Slam record. He's he's. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the most all-round player. He's won the French one, Santi Wimbledon, how many mm-hmm. times? US, Australian. Um, okay. I think, I think what he's done for outside of tennis as well, so like the off-court side of tennis, I think Federer is the best, um, how he conducts himself and and uh, what he's actually brought to the sport of tennis. Um, okay. I would, I would say Federer. What, what's your opinion? Uh, well, uh, you put some arguments on that, that I, really, I really didn't thought about it, like uh, how much he done for tennis as a whole. But in my opinion, if you're just looking at tennis, uh, I would have to give my vote to Rafa. Yeah. Because uh, first of all, Rafa has also Tony Grand Slams, uh, yeah. just like uh, Roger. And Rafa has a better head-to-head mm. than Roger. And mm. uh, so overall, I think... Even though he he won mostly French Open, but mm. he also won Wimbledon while Federer was playing there. Federer never beat Rafa on clay. Yeah. So and then uh, also Rafa has a gold uh, singles gold medal, which Federer doesn't. Federer mm. has uh, doubles, uh, yeah. but uh, that's why I believe Rafa is. And also, mm. on that note, I believe Djokovic will end up winning the most slams, and Djokovic. Yeah, uh, better head to head than Rafa, and better head to get than Roger, and he or Djokovic also has uh, he won every single Masters mm. twice. So yeah, I do I do think with Federer's with Federer's age, like, he's going to let him down because he's a lot older than the other guys. Yeah, um, but if I yeah, when I look at the greatest of all time, I don't just look on court. I'm I'm thinking what they've brought to tennis as well. Um, yeah. like in boxing terms, I'd say Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. Because of what he brought to boxing outside of outside of in, in the ring, whereas but his actual record, Muhammad Ali, he's not the best. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But yeah, te- but yeah, I agree with you. Rafa, Rafa's head to head against Fed is is Rafa's right up there, and he is massive winning record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I can I can give you exact exactly the numbers. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Yeah, so uh, they have played 40 times. I thought they have played more. And Rafa is uh, leading 24 to 16. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's hard to say Federer than when you've got, when you've got your, your yeah. biggest rival there who's beat you that many times. It's hard to say Federer. Exactly. It? So, and yeah. then uh, Djokovic Federer, just a second. Yeah. Djokovic Federer 50 times, Djokovic 27 to 3. Wow, that's crazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Djokovic, Nadal. Uh, just a second, Djokovic, Nadal, Djokovic, twenty nine to twenty seven over Nadal. So yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably should change my answer now listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but uh, I can see the Federer one. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then yeah, if anyone has an answer, feel free to write it down. Um, so okay, let, now let's talk about a bit of future. So, in your opinion, what are some some future ATP stars that we are gonna look for five to ten years from now? Um, I think Dominic Team is still the future um, for me. I know he's twenty six, twenty seven. He's just mm-hmm. won his first Slam. Um, I wouldn't say he's obviously he's, he's very experienced now, isn't he? But mm-hmm. I, I do think he's still the future. I would say he's up there in the next five years. Okay. I think obviously Tsitsipas is is doing really well. Um, Zverev Zverev has been there for the last few years, but he's um, mm-hmm. he's not done brilliant yet in a, in a Grand Slam as he's been, yeah. he's been not doing not doing perfect in Grand Slams. Um, mm-hmm. I think Ali Asim, Felix Ali Asim is going to mm-hmm. be there. Um, Shapovalov will be there. Okay. Um, I think Demoner. I, I really like Demoner, um, the Australian. He's mm-hmm. very good, very good athlete. I like his game style. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if he's got big enough weapons to. Yeah. 
yeah, um, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can I can see them now like a uh, uh, David Ferrer type of player, mm, which yeah. is unbelievable. But to win a slam, you need mm. a bit more. I agree with that. I think I think there's very. I mean, before Team won a slam, I wouldn't have said I wouldn't have said he he would win a slam to be honest mm-hmm. with all the other other big guys. But he he proved me wrong. Um, mm-hmm. I think Team changed his game as well in the last eighteen months. I think he got so so much more aggressive on 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 all his shots. Um, his consistency as well, and his on his big tournaments, he was c- consistently doing well. Yeah, he um, was. So I think he's going to be there, and I think Titsi Passing's Zverev will be there as well. Yeah, what yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, you think? Uh, I think he, uh, he, one of the names that you forgot is uh, da- Daniel Medvedev. Oh, Medvedev, yeah. I, I think yeah. I think he can definitely be. Top ten, top five. I mean, he's already obviously he's obviously top ten, but yeah. I believe he can be a Grand Slam champ and yeah. he can be yeah. number one in the world. And yeah. also, I have a name that uh, he's very young, but he's unbelievable. And his name is Yannick Sinner. Mm. So he's an Italian player, and he he beat Zverev in French Open last year, and yeah. he's an unbelievable talent. Yeah. So I think in five years, even in two or three years, I think Yannick Sinner can be. A future number one, in my opinion. Yeah, Sinner. Sinner, I think was had, had a crazy. Um, I don't think he played any ITF juniors. Sinner. 